Apply it. Here's new products. Yes. Okay. Let's dive right in. I have this lamp on. Okay. First new product. Yeah, what's up first? This is the charger. This is, a, yeah, this is a, a cranky charger. Actually, yeah. this is a good one to yeah. show. Uh, don't, don't, don't do anything yet. I'm not doing uh, anything. I'm, I'm just showing photos right now. Okay. So this is a pocket socket, and this is the best one. We've tested a lot of these. And this is a hand crank charger, and it works. And it works really well. And uh, there's a lot out there. Um, I have a box of them that just don't work very well. So this is the one we got. We did a lot of testing. We have a bunch of gadgets. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll go over here right now, and I will... Uh, I'll test it. So maybe you can explain briefly, Lady Ada, how this works. We have to right actually now. do a teardown on this, and we and we will. Yeah. But um, for now, basically inside is is a motor. It's yeah. a, it's an electric motor, and it's geared. And um, it what it does is it, I, I believe there's no battery inside, but there is probably um, you know a lot of like a large capacitor and, and yeah. filtering to, filtering to 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 make it a little smoother than normal. And then what you want to do is turn it at two hertz. So. One Mississippi. Yeah. Well, now it just turned on my phone yeah. because you're you're setting it to charge. See how it's charging? And it gets tougher. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is go to the overhead. Okay. Yeah, and. Uh, All right, you put that there, and I'm going to. Okay, work I was going to do the cranking, but that's cool. I want to work it out. All right. I'm not, I'm not afraid. So yeah. So this little handle comes out and it spins, and this makes it, it's easy. And then as it turns on, actually, it's a tougher because there's resistance. So I'm going to. Okay, it's only it's only at sixty eight percent, lady. You have to keep charging. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I have to uh, here. Why don't do the you show. Hold, why but you... I do want to show something else. Actually, I want. Um, how about you crank it, and I'm gonna probe the this with the multimeter. Okay. Do you want to do that? Do you want to get over here, and then we'll yeah, do sure. that? Yeah, sure. Because I want to actually something. Actually, I had a question about. I think it has DC output. It actually would make sense. Uh huh. So here's my. Um, Second, this is my multimeter. Okay, so you want me to crank this? Uh oh, wait, multimeter. Okay, yeah, so I've got hold on, I've got my multimeter and I'm going to st stick it in here. Should people try this at home? Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, All right, so then I want to see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get in the other part of the uh, oh, that's this is tough. Okay. Yeah, this is tough. All right, it's so short. we'll just have to hear it. Okay, okay, so, so now uh, you want me to start cranking? Yeah, okay. Okay, the only thing though is, um, here, watch out. Yeah. You can hold it like this. Okay. Okay, now you get the multimeter. Okay, I got the multimeter. Yeah, 120 volts. Okay. Okay. That's so it's 100, 117, but it's actually what's interesting, and um, I have to, because I was looking at the documentation, and again, I want to open this up to see exactly how it works. But it is a somewhat regulated output, so it's probably some like regulator that keeps it from uh, going above 120 volts. And it's 120 volts DC, not AC. But um, almost anything that doesn't use a transformer, and um, there's almost, there's very few power supplies these days that use actual transfor uh, transformer inputs. Usually they are rectified switching power supplies, so it should work fine for pretty much everything, but uh, like, old plug-in, like, really heavy um, power adapters um, because those actually require AC input. Okay. But um, it's actually a really good quality. It's it's really rugged. It, I mean, it does make you a little tired. Made but in the USA. It's made in the USA. And uh, was, did you say it was like a Kickstarter or something? Or was it an Indiegogo? No. no? Okay. No, this is one. So I've seen a lot of these, and I have, like I said, a box of them. None of them are that good. And this mm. one uh, is the best one. Yeah, this one's pretty good. This one's like usable, um, well made, and uh, yeah, we'll take it apart and we'll do it. Yeah, now. and it has a basic. Yeah. What's interesting is it has a basic uh, two prong output. There's another version that they're coming out with, that's a uh, five volt output with USB. Uh, that's cool. So that'll be a little bit easier because it's like you don't have to generate 120 volts. Um, you'll have to generate five volts. So it's even it's higher current, but it might not have to be geared as much yeah. or something more um, efficient. So. Screws instead of uh, gr glue, you know. Yeah, like, these you, are nice you can things. take this apart. So and uh, we're expecting maybe someone to take it apart and maybe you know attach it to a bike or something like that. Yeah, but. yeah, and you can reuse the um, the internals for something else possibly. But yeah, again, yeah. by bike, there's they're also making a version that's like bike cranked. Anyway, it's just. It's a cool, we wanted to have something that was a crank generator. We have a box of crank generators that like either yeah. kind of sucked or were just way too expensive. And this one actually is this nice, usable, yeah. not too not too heavy, not too uh, difficult to use, not too expensive, not, yeah. too, Cr not too crummy. Cr crank chargers are the in the same category in my brain as uh, 
solar chargers for gadgets, like all of them don't work except for like one. And like, yeah. And like, you actually do have to pay a little bit more for the yeah. quality. Okay. That's true. Next up. Blinky, look at this. This yeah. is a familiar product, but it's also new. Yeah, this is the uh, black flex strip color of the LED strip we've been carrying in the, as the new Pixel. We've had it in uh, white. And it's been great. And this is identical, except that the strip is black. That might be useful for certain costuming or attaching to something that is already painted black. And so this will, I mean, the LEDs are still going to have these like white squares, but um, overall um, it might be easier to hide or uh, be less visible. I yeah. thought we'd carry both. We're going to try to get everything in Adafruit black. It's a very, spe black? It's a very special black. And yeah. so we, we have to make sure that um, it's the right right tone, yeah. right color. This is exactly the right zero, zero, zero hex. So yeah, this is just a uh, black strip. This is outside of the uh, waterproof casing, which you can do and it works great. So this is uh, the 30 LEDs per meter. And then we also have some that's twice as dense, 60 LEDs per meter. Yeah. And uh, you do need one microcontroller. It's just like all the other NeoPixels that we have. So check out our library. Works okay. great. This actually is using the new um, WS2812B, the new chip, which actually has a reverse polarity protection built in. So it's also, what I like about these strips is they're also less likely to get damaged. Okay. Less frazzle chance. Yeah. Next up, the star of the show. The ring of the show. Yeah. It's a Stargate. That's a gigantic quarter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the... Uh, LED ring. Look at these yeah. beautiful photos. Now I just want to put Show this photo. Show these photos. Up. Just want to put this photo up on screen. Look at this. That's a nice. John photo. took this photo. It's beautiful. That's a great photo. That almost even shows you how bright it is. It's, just, yeah. it's quite bright. Here it is. It's a ring. So this is 16 equidistantly spaced LEDs on a PCB, and I'm gonna show it on the overhead. So we put uh, 16 in a row, and they're equally spaced. And 16, we thought was a good number. Um, somebody mentioned it would be cool to have 12 for a watch. This unfortunately is 16. Maybe we'll make a version with 12 at some point. Um, it's got, you know, these 16 LEDs. It's a, it's a nice round ring. It's 1.75 inches in diameter, which turns out to be pretty much exactly the right size for uh, shoving them into standard goggles. Like goggles seem to be about 1.75 millimeter, at uh, 1.75 inches in diameter. So you can make LED goggles with these, which is kind of what we want to do. Um, it's just a ring. It's hollow. Uh, there's uh, some pins you can see on the bigger photos. Um, there's some capacitors. You can chain these together, which is kind of neat. Uh, each ring takes about five volts, so like four to seven seems to be okay, according to the data sheet. And uh, let me show it lit up. You can use kind of okay. a standard Arduino type yeah. thing. Also, someone wanted to see how big it is next to the flora. Oh, it's about the same size. The flora, I think, is 1.75 inches, too. So it's the same outer diameter as a flora. So you could yeah. shove it on top of a flora. So yeah, these are two rings. Wait, hold on. Two rings. So yeah, they're super bright, um, full color, all of them. And yeah, you only need one uh, LED, uh, one pin to control them. So we thought this would be neat. Great for like all sorts of decorative stuff. Um, and hopefully, one uh, one point seven five inch outer diameter is a good size that would be yeah. useful for most projects. So, looking forward to seeing like costumes, LED goggles, um, earrings, necklaces, whatever, using these as sort of pendants. Yeah, I'll tell you why I like this product. Why I, do you like this product? I'll tell you why I like this product so much. And I was talking to John Janier about this, and, and you and I talked about this. Um, Let's see if I can chain this. So up. it's a it's a beautiful product. It doesn't have any use, and I don't mean it in, that in a bad way. It's not a functional product like a temperature sensor or like something that we that we uh, stock that has a, a utility. Um, this has something, this has a, a, a bigger, more grand uh, purpose, I think. It yeah. emits ideas, because every time we've shown this to someone here at Adafruit, they said, oh, I know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to like make a, a lamp, and I'm going to put um, these down like a, an acrylic tube. And I'm gonna light it up. Or, well, oh, that's, that's good of you. Yeah, it, it's one of the it's one of the few products uh, recently that it, it emits photons, of course. Yes. <laughs> but it also emits um, your imagination. It, it, it emits things that make you want to design something and make something. Yeah. That's such a hard product to come up with. Like it, we didn't really set out to say what can we make that makes. Other I just people wanted LED goggles. Use, this is that, so I've really yeah. wanted LED goggles for like like ten years and. I really wanted them to be controllable, and this is like the first time that I'm like, yeah, 
Yeah. Audi goggles. And what's interesting in the chat right now, everybody's coming up with ideas. Oh, get four of them for Audi drivers. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> no, Olympic rings. Bing, bing, yeah, bing, bing. Yeah, I can do Olympic rings. Everybody comes up with ideas. There's something about this. This this, this product's going to okay. gonna go in a direction. Do you want me to make other size rings, too? Maybe make one twice as big? And yeah, no, everybody smaller? in the chat can... can okay. uh, can, can mention it. The like only thing, can, the thing that's sad about ring, it's with squares and lines. The thing is, that we're, this one, again, we have this stick that's eight pixels. Yeah. We have the eight by eight square that's coming out soon. Yeah. You can tile those. This is just like it's Did kind you of the PCB thing. The PCB. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that next. So this is the oh, yeah. um, this is the circuit board as it comes to us. So it's the the, the thing that's a little baby stargates. <laughs> it's a little sad is because you know there's all this PCB material that's cut away. So the PCBs are actually kind of expensive, even though they're not. The, the surface area is small, but because you get you can't use the center, yeah. and they're, they're you know it's cut away because it has to be tiled a certain way. Maybe we'll way. figure out something to put in the center one day. Well, it has to be picked in place at the same time. I guess yeah. maybe something that you could cut out and you could reuse. Yeah. And maybe I'll maybe I'll okay. figure something out. All right. So these are yeah. This is the. Uh, and then one last the thing. This is the video <coughs> that you guys saw. Yeah, this is Phil B's video. So he's testing it with a trinket, which is something we're we'll probably gonna do a tutorial on. And we'll have the trinket out shortly. This is. And that was new products.